In this town, the cops come tough. Rhino strength. Hi, I'm Wayne Ryan, Senior Constable of Police Station at the Warmer Police Station. I'm commonly known as Rhino to all and sundry involved in the football community and most of my work colleagues. I'm the president of the Miraval Football Club. I played in the 91 grand final against the Old Collegians Football Club. And uh, why don't we go and have a look around uh, my part of the town, I'll show you where I work. With Rhino laying down the law, Old Collegians better behave themselves before the big game. Oh, look, I'd like to say that I've got some plans in place to um, make some arrests to key players, like it'd be handy if the centre half forward, full forward and Ruckman were uh, locked up for the day. Wayne Ryan is the man that dared cross the line, from Old Collegians to Maryvale. I'm a life member at the Old Collegians Football Club, which uh, I'm very proud to be. In 1989, I had a bit of a falling out with the then coach, and I felt that uh, it was time for me to move on. Uh, as a result of an injury, I missed a couple of seasons of football and resumed playing uh, in 1991 at Merivale. Uh, Oak Allegiance still holds a special, special place in my past because uh, my family was heavily involved. It was a bit of a breaking of a tie, you might say, for me to leave there, but I'm glad I did. This is my uh, most treasured photo. This is the 1991 Premiership side. Uh, in that photo, I'm, I'm sporting a uh, very flash moustache uh, in line with our coach of the year who had a similar... Uh, hairy face, but uh, below that spot is the one that's marked for the uh, 2011 Premiership photo, which I'm sure will uh, be there uh, after the game in uh, August. So uh, watch this space, as they say, because uh, that's where it's going. This rhino sure has some hide, and he's even prepared to get Husey heated if it means giving Merivale the edge. I just said he was uh, a better player when there was uh, no traffic around him, so uh, which that refers to, he's a good player out on his own. And uh, I just heard at some point in time his nickname might have been here, here, as in here, here, give me the ball instead of going to get it. So I called him that morning and uh, said, oh, look, you better get the standards. You've got your football integrity is being questioned today. My phone was ringing really hot that day uh, from, uh, from my teammates who were not happy with his comments, saying that basically saying I was soft um, as a footballer. He'll get his chance on the day to put his head over the footy. If, if he's Chris Judd and Jonathan Brown rolled into one, we'll... Show us what you can do on the day, mate. I reckon question anyone's uh, commitment for the ball and getting the hard ball is uh, he's pretty rough. So, uh, yeah, to do that, uh, we'll just keep our mouth shut and worry about that on uh, 28th of uh, August. The runner has stacked on a few kilos, but he's a policeman, you know. And, I mean, they're meant to eat donuts, aren't they? That's what they do. He's got a gun, he really doesn't need to run. I think he might have challenged me about my weight, but as I said to a bloke, well, I can go to the doctors and get advice how to lose weight, but I don't think they'll give you seeds to grow hearts. But as for Husey, he can... Uh, what can I say to him? He can suck it in, princess. Oh, we don't like that sort of thing. There's no doubt about that. Don't like seeing our players get uh, get dragged down a bit, like um, especially when it's not true. There's certainly no love lost between the two sides, and as the weeks have gone on, it's become more evident. Um, pretty much guarantee game day there'll be uh, some significant heavy clashes and uh, good tackles and that sort of stuff. Yeah, look, we'll get on with it. But yeah, I certainly believe I wasn't soft and. Uh, yeah, there you go.